one thing to run out of gas in a vehicle that doesn't have a working gas gauge, but to run out of gas in a vehicle that has a perfectly good working gas gauge, well, that is just a girl move. <laughs> Good day everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I'm finally getting out to ship these magazines for the winners of the magazine draw and it's been a while. Don't judge me. I will explain all of that in a bit here when I'm in my truck. But first I've got two more magazines to sign because I could not get a hold of those people while I was live doing the draw and they got a hold of me afterwards. So I'm gonna sign their magazines and then it's off to the post office. So we have one for Al, and then there's one for Chris also. And there's one other person who hasn't gotten a hold of me yet, Troy. So Troy, if your name is Troy, check your emails because you want a magazine. And uh, I've not heard back from you yet. So let's try to get this in the camera actually. I like a little smiley face. There you go. And then we got Chris here. I just never had the nicest writing. So those are all signed up. I'm gonna let them dry for a second while I get myself ready to go. And then we're gonna go to the post office and ship all of these off. So I'll see you guys in the truck. All right guys, we're set and ready to go. Mail some magazines. They're all ready to go and we're just gonna go ship these off. And you might be asking yourself, why is she not taking her bike for this? I just don't wanna risk wrecking the magazines by tossing them in a backpack and I don't really have a better way of carrying anything on either of my bikes at this point. So that's why I'm taking my truck. I know you guys are probably wondering, like you winners of the magazines are probably wondering like what the heck is taking her so long to mail me my magazine, like I had to wait to win it and I have to wait to get it and it has been a lot longer than I would like it to have taken. I would have ideally like to have had them all shipped off the very next day. So I'm just gonna be kind of personal with you guys right now and not to be personal. I don't like talking about my personal life too much on YouTube because, well, that's not what we're here for. But to be completely honest with you all, um, I don't have a job right now. I think a lot of you guys know that. And I'm really trying to avoid going to get a job because it ends up interfering extremely with my YouTube and I'm really trying to make YouTube work for me right now but YouTube does not pay a whole bunch if you are not getting a whole bunch of views to begin with and um, I get like decent views but I definitely don't get enough to live uh, very comfortably I guess you can say I'm kind of just kind of just getting by guys and I'm really really trying to avoid going to get a job because I want YouTube to work for me I love what I'm doing and I love being able to be out and just like doing what I'm passionate about and if I can make a living out of it if I can make YouTube my living that would be awesome I've been trying really hard to get more content out and that's why I'm making a video of this today because normally this is the kind of thing I wouldn't make a video of and this guy in front of me has like a load of branches and stuff that are all just like falling off of his truck like he doesn't even care he didn't he didn't even try to secure that load anyway that's completely like totally unsafe but anyways I was really distracted by that for a minute because there's like literally branches just falling on the road man anyhow yeah I I'm just really trying to make YouTube work not to go on about it or anything like that guys but that is how come it is taking me a while to get these magazines out to you all because I'm just well like I said YouTube just not pay the most right now and the post office is right around the corner actually I'm passing it okay let's go 
I'm normally I don't take my cameras into stores. So everybody's gonna be staring at me. It's okay, I guess. To the back cave. I think that's what he says. Always wanted to say that. <laughs> but it's not the back cave. It's the Red Rider cave. Back to the shop. Let's go. Well guys, Al, Ray, Chris, Joe. Be expecting your magazines in the mail. They should be there. I think it normally takes like under two weeks for letter letter mail to arrive in the US. They ship as letter mail, so I can't get tracking, unfortunately, with that. So, yeah, but be keeping your eyes out, guys. And um, if they don't make it to you, then they should make their way back to me, which will be good because then I can resend them to you. But definitely let me know if you still have not seen your magazines in the mail in a couple weeks from now because then we will be concerned. Anyhow, guys, that's it for this video. Just a short little vlog. I thought I might as well just, you know, I don't know, show you guys just a little bit more of what I do in a day and, you know, kind of my YouTube stuff. And that's it. That's it for this video, guys. So thank you all for coming out and checking me out, checking out my videos, checking out my channel. And like always, if you like what you see, or if you just like me, or even if you don't like me, but you like my bikes, and if you don't know what my bikes look like yet, so you don't know if you like my bikes, you can go and check them out in some of my other videos. But uh, like this video, comment, subscribe, share, do all those things you guys do that make this all work for me. And um, like always, my lovely YouTube people, we'll catch y'all on the flip side. Peace. probably say um way too much.